Yeah. All right, looks yeah. like we're on. Ready? Captain Jim, let's do it. What you got on the checklist? Mm -hmm. Ending with a mixture what? I, yeah, I make sure. Oh, really? So maybe it's uh, isolated. Remind me after we start up to get your uh, get your thing there. Open up the intercom. Okay, start, set, track, back lock, uh -huh. tail wheel unlock, flaps up, avionics off, autopilot off, cow flex open, beacon on, master on, mixture full rich. Okay, so mixture rich. rich. You got the brakes on? Now I got the brakes. Okay, go ahead. Put the, ma the fuel pump on, the yellow. Both two clicks. And then put the master and crank it. Clear right. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Basically, you're going to take this way, come all the way across, and then we're going to come up all the way this way, Sierra, and that will take us to 3-3. Three, three. We're, we're here. We're here. We're going to make a right. Right turn. And then you'll see whiskey. Okay. You got the controls? Yeah. Power's good. Let it warm up okay. nicely. Just kind of feel the rotors. 
and take us to the runway. Oh man, look at that big prop, man. You can see the snow just flies out. You gotta go straight ahead, watch for the snow bank, so you can cut across here and then move, or just straight to the taxiway, hit straight. the T and then make a right. That's also gonna work for us. Very nice. right up here and that'll be whiskey and as you go further out you'll see Sierra okay. which is way out there I feel the heat yeah. you feel the heat nice let's see sunset it's 440. 440? Now 5, uh, 340. I don't know if we'll be able to catch the sunset, but we'll definitely catch some nice view. This is Whiskey. We're going to cross runway 6 and then cross runway 1 over to Sierra. Wind's right behind you. Identifier for this airport. Foxtrot Oscar Kilo. Yeah, I don't think I ever was here. You've never been here, huh? Except for here today. Look at this, it's so quiet. We're the only ones flying out. We there. own the airport. I know. <laughs> we own the airport. I love it. Imagine you have a hangar here and the whole airport's yours. And yeah, I could work on the plane, clean it up in the heat, and then you know what? You're tired? Straight ahead, right. and then you'll bear left across right. runway one. Gotcha. Clear on the right, runway six is clear. Clear on the left. You're done with the day, you don't have to drive home. Home is the hangar. Right, imagine, I know. It's just, it just sleep in the hangar. Wake up in the morning, have some coffee, and Do go fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an addiction, man. Airplanes, you get into oh. it, you, 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 you don't see your life, you don't see your life changing. Oh, uh, you're just going to stay with airplanes and die with the airplanes. This is the way it is. It was in my... Ever since a little kid, I always wanted to be a pilot. You know what I mean? Yep. It's just funny. Now, I got to... He cleared us to cross right. both runways. Okay. Runway 6 and runway 1. Okay. So. And there's the arrow. Okay. And you'll see 3-3 three, three over there. The uh, departure end. You'll see it. Clear right. Runway 1's clear on the right. Clear left. Yeah, it's a little easier if you could see a little. I was good to go up. Absolutely. You're just trying to, like, feel for that line. Absolutely. Put the yellow line right between your feet, right. and you're going to be gold. That's it. Oh, I'll show you when we do the cruise check. Remind me to show you the power table for the Continental engine, and you'll see the... The, the shaded gray or black area, that's the, the, the Continental approved cruise bus setting. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome, the range on it. You'll be like, wow, this is nice. Actually, it'll let you go more manifold pressure than RPM. You can cruise at 22 inches and 1900 RPM, and it's approved for that motor. Most of the, you know, Small engines don't like to be, you know, at higher manifold pressure than the right. RPM. It's actually in the written exam. Avoid high manifold pressure with low RPM. You know that? No, until you said it, but... Yep. It's going to bear left. You're going to go straight, going to bear left. And when you bear left here on Sierra, you'll be right on the departure end of 3-3. But I don't... There's a holding line there, right? I there's going to be a hold short. You'll see a hold short, absolutely. When we get to the hold short, you can say... Uh, Gabreski Tower, November 1, Romeo Mike, holding short of runway 33, ready for takeoff, northwest departure. I never was here. This is a big airport. Guys. It's pretty big, yeah. Look, you got a long runway here. It's about 9,000? 9, 9,000?
8,001 feet. So you can land a 747 on this thing. It's huge. You can land a 150 here three times. Probably, oh, you can probably do three takeoffs and landings to a full stop on this runway. Take off, land, stop, take off, land, stop, take off, land, stop. With the power this thing's got, you could actually take off on a taxiway. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need more than, now we're light, you yeah. don't need more than 300 feet. You'll see it come off the ground pretty quick. I seen it when we were at Republic. Republic also she, pretty quick, right? Yeah, she jumped right And that's not the short field takeoff. Short no, field takeoff, I said that you lock the tail wheel and you yeah, put you 20 pull. degrees of flaps and as soon as you release it with back elevator, it just boom, boom. That's your whole trip line. Now go ahead, Gabreski Tower. Ready for takeoff. Straight northwest. Go ahead, make sure this is good. Gabreski Tower, Cessna, Born Romeo Mike, ready for takeoff at 33. I don't know, I forgot. Cessna, Born Romeo Mike, Roger, runway 33, three, three, wind 310 at 10, cleared for takeoff, on course approved. Born Romeo Mike, clear for takeoff, like a northwest departure. Roger, on course approved. Alright, takeoff's approved, I got hold on. Born Romeo Mike. Okay, wait for me to complete that takeoff checklist. Speed of heats off heading and compass tail is unlocked doors and windows or close on the left on the right transponder's altitude. And strobes are on time for takeoff is going to be 346. And we got the pre-takeoff checks complete. Let me do a quick flight control check, make sure everything's good. Okay, your controls. Get on the throttle. Nice and easy. Stay on the pedals on the bottom. Give it a little bit of throttle. I want to straighten now. Yep, straighten it up. A little bit of throttle. Okay. A little bit of aft elevator right there. Let's hold that throttle there. Let's build some speed. And a little bit more power. Now you got good speed. Go ahead and shove it in there. Be ready with the right rudder. Right there. Full power. We're tapping. Okay. Yeah, she wants to fly. Bring her up. Okay. 100 miles an hour. You're right there. She's so powerful, you know, I'm gonna just throttle back, man. <laughs> Let's get that baby 25 square, I don't need more than that. Beautiful, right there. How's your trim? Trim's good? Uh, no. How's your trim, Mr. Jim? <laughs> God, even that's hard. She you feels know, heavy? Yeah, yeah, when you do it. You feel the back trim here. Better now? Trim for you. Man, a thousand feet, you're good. Big range. It's a big range. Now that's Continental. 
When you go in the Cessna manual, it's a little different story. They don't want you taking the They don't jet. want you to go so yeah, low. Yeah, no, yeah. they want you at 22, I think, minimum. Let me see. Minimum of 2,200 and 14 inches. Right. So I printed this off the Continental manual just to have my own Continental. See, the motor is happy. It's not like the motor is... Yeah, you're not hurting it. It's not hurting it. Yeah, you're not hurting it at all. How'd you trip? Trim's good? I like it. Nice. Nice. Actually... Okay, what we're going to do here is try to transition through Class Charlie. Let's see if they're going to give us the clearance. So, go ahead and ask for frequency change. Five miles to the west fixed change, or four miles to the west fixed change. Let's do, see what he says. Do I call him or just say that? Yeah, you can say yes. Skywagon one morning, Mike, four miles to the west fixed change. I don't have to say Sabrinsky? You can say Sabrinsky, it's okay. Sabrinsky, departure. Uh, Cessna one Romeo Mike, like to request a frequency change? One moment on my frequency change approved. So long. So long. Have a good one. And now we're going to go with New York 2005. 3045. 3045 for Victor. And you can say New York approach. Skywagon 1 Romeo Mike request. He's going to say go ahead. Skywagon 1 Romeo Mike. Five miles to the west of Gabreski. Would like to transition class Charlie. 1,500 feet. Destination Republic. See what he says. Oh, man. Hey, want to get back in the game? Yeah, yeah, Hit yeah. the radio. You've been up All there right. for a while. Get that yeah, radio. All right. Yeah, yeah, let me say, New York Approach, one more meal, Mike, with a request. What is the request? Then he's going to come up and say, go ahead with your request. Skywagon, one more meal, Mike. Six miles to the west of Gabreski. Would like to transition through Class Charlie, 1,500 feet. Destinations, Republic. He's going to say squawk and then give right. you the clearance, yeah. New York Approach, uh, one more meal, Mike, with request. Number one Romeo Mike, New York, go ahead. One, one Romeo Mike is five miles to the west. Gabreski. Uh, Gabreski. Transition Charlie, 1,500, Destination Republic. Transition Charlie, Destination Republic, 1,500. Number one Romeo Mike, squawk 4376. Tell him, four, one November Mike, squawking 4376. Beautiful. And with your call sign, uh, was it 1 November Mike or 1 Romeo Mike? November 1 Romeo Mike. November 1 Romeo Mike, sir. Number 1 Romeo Mike, radar contact, ice to belt altimeter 3045. 3045, 1 Romeo Mike. Okay. What was your type aircraft, Romeo Mike? Uh, Cessna Skywagon. Cessna Skywagon? Okay. Okay, go ahead and bump the throttle to 22 inches. Nice and easy, right there, that's all you need, right there, perfect. And let the airplane climb 500 feet per minute. It's going to be easy. It's going to start climbing nice and easy, get up to 1,500, then you can throttle back. You got this set up with the numbers good, right? Yeah, I know this airplane very well, yeah. 22 inches is all you need to get up 500 feet, no problem. Look at your ground speed. You see all the headwinds that hit us before? They're working against us I now. Know. Uh, that was a nice push coming up. I told you it was going to take a little longer coming back. Uh -huh. If I you get up higher, you'll be like much longer because there's more headwinds up That's there. That's what you said. Yeah. That's, That's why you go forward. One, one, one Yankee changed to my right. frequency one two zero point zero five. And about fifty feet prior is all you need to throttle back. Yeah. I'm sure. You get your direct republic. You can probably fly right, right over Bayport. You can see Yankee, I developed them at a 3045. Now, upset. What's the throttle set? Uh, you're at 15, throttle back, 18. Good, 18 inches, perfect. Right there, she's oh. happy. That's a little bit too much. Hey, right. You know, there's like a, a spot yeah, that it a, just keeps it, going. It's just a linkage, yeah, it's just a linkage, no big deal. Push it back up for you. Right there, perfect. She's happy right there. Okay, Make sure well, your trim is nice. Okay, now we got to level off. Yep, put it at 1,300. You want to see how the autopilot works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ah, okay. Go ahead and put it on. Uh, One click here. There you go. 
let it test itself. It's going to test the trim servos and everything. Sure. Go ahead and set the heading bug about two nine or zero or so. The heading bug is to the right. This is oh. That right there. It's good. It's good. Two six zero. That's a good heading where we are. Heading bug is right there. Push and right. turn. And about two ninety. Back to fifteen hundred. Right there. Very nice. Oh, feel the heat, man. Yeah, it's coming on strong. It yeah. is coming. Put your hand on the bottom left, uh, the bottom left side of the airplane. Put your left hand all the way down to the floor. Oh yeah. Feel the yeah, heat? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. That motor. It's actually hot. Very that, hot. That motor yeah. is happy. I took this all the way line like 13.5 in the winter time. It was like negative 30 degrees Celsius, and it's warm. And there's not many holes. It's pretty tight cockpit. This one. Yeah. yeah. I think you have gaps in the uh, most. Yeah, yeah, like a Romeo, Romeo, one Romeo mine. Climb maintain 2,000 to flash trailing. Climb maintain 2,000, leaving 1,500. One Romeo mine, leaving 1,500, climbing to 2,000. Okay, go ahead. Put the power back up, 22 inches, and climb nice and up. That's too much. 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 Right there. Perfect. And nice and easy, 500 feet per minute climb, get it up to... You said 2,000. Yep, nice and easy, she'll get up there. Oh, now you, you're you waiting for yeah, the servo. Still, it's still testing itself, give it some time. We'll try it when we level off. Quiet down. Can you hear the air traffic control or not really? Um. How's your volume? All the way up. 627 Lima, you can defend to your discretion. What about now? Can you hear me? 627 Lima. What about now? Can you hear me? You serious? You don't hear the air traffic control? Barely, barely. One, two, three, hold on. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. When, when is more volume? One, two, three, one, two, three. Now is more volume? Okay. Hold on. Tell me if you hear the uh, weather. One, zero. Visibility, one, zero. See, the problem is he likes the radio and the intercom very low because he doesn't have volume control in his headphones. Right. So it's very, very weak for everybody else. That's why. Okay. You don't have the volume control. Okay. So if I put, if I pump the, pu the <coughs> if I pump the, uh, there you go. Now you can go back to uh, 18. If I pump the radio very high and loud, you're gonna, it's gonna blow your ears out. Okay. That's, that's just the way the headset. This is an old headset, but it works. It works pretty good. Yeah, it works good. All right, now we got to test the auto power. What we're going to do now <coughs> is basically trim the airplane nicely. Make sure the trim's nice. You don't need too much power. I uh, mean, too much control pressure on on the birds. And six one seven eight seven Lima with the field. Hey, eight seven Lima, rate of service determined. It's twelve twelve hundred. Who would you change the crew today? Roger. Six seven Lima. There you go. Power set. What? That's the heat. That's the heat. Too hot already? Yeah. Oh wow, I'll that's rare. I'll call if you don't want to uh, pick it back up. That's rare, man. Close the heat. Look at this gauge, man. You're about 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside now. <laughs> okay, so we got the autopilot on. Go ahead, select on on the autopilot. The left button says on off. Put it on. Beautiful. Push the middle button. Three southwest of Montauk. No, the middle button. The round. Push altitude hold. The one on top of that okay. altitude hole. Push it. There you go. Leave it alone now. Now you can set the heading bug wherever you want to go. The airplane's going to go. It actually works very well. It works very well. Running a little rough. Cessna 85, uniform change to my frequency 120.05. Too rich. Rough. Let me see. I picked right up on that gap. Yeah, good catch. <laughs> Let me bump the power up a little bit. Yeah, that got me a little concerned. I'm like, what yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah, she's running a little. Let me try the mixture. Maybe she's running too rich. She's. The approach on November 625 uniform is with you. 
Or it makes the engine run happier. Jefferson on it. 
should be somewhere in the back. You comfortable back there or pretty tight? No, 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 good. Well, you're sitting at an angle, so you're... Fred and 010, Victor's Bridgeport, to send the main team. How many hours you got, Cap? 10,000 hours? Over 11,000 now, yeah. Yeah, that's a booklet. That's why you're good. I try. I try to, you know, stay on top of it. I bet it doesn't count. Yeah, you're comfortable flying with me, though, right? Yeah, you're very comfortable. You are not. You can take me through a hurricane. I don't know about that. Good. But, you know, I That's do why I want to fly with you. Yeah. I do have that sense of security when people fly with me, they get a little more confident, you know, so it's good. Yeah, this thing does work pretty good, man. She runs nice, huh? Oh. Oh. You know what this means? I would have loved to have this because I could just do this. Look out the window. The autopilot, right? Yeah, if, uh, if you fly solo, single pilot, IFR. This is the art you have to have. You've got to have you an have autopilot. It's so much work. Because you have an autopilot, you can put the chart, look at the chart, move this thing left, move this thing right, and it does its own thing. It's much nicer. Because I'm once familiar, and I haven't done it in a while, like I can't even, I'm just like want to maintain just level flight. Yep. So uh, this to me is more better with the autopilot on, because I can see where everything is. You can get to know the around, airplane. Yeah. yeah, get to know the airplane. And I heard you say that this costs like 12 grand. This Estec this is an Estec autopilot, and you have nav selector, and it's a coupled approach. Well, you can couple it up to an ILS approach. Squawk VFR contact with public tower. One Romeo, Mike Squawk and VFR. Republic tower. Republic tower. This guy don't even want to talk to me. I messed that up so bad. <laughs> First thing, we got Squawk VFR, we got to get the weather now. I'm flying this now, right? Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, we got to get the weather. Okay. Public Airport Information, Quebec, weather is at 20530, wind variable at 6, weather at 5005, temperature minus 06, dew point minus 18, altimeter 3047, visual approach and use, landing the parting runway 32. IFR departures, large ground control for time, your IFR. Read back all runway hold short instructions, read back all runway silence, read back all altitude silence. Roger, public tower, and this contact you, information, move back. We're back. Public Airport Information, Quebec, weather is at 20530, wind variable at 6. Weather better at 5,005, temperature minus 0, 6, 2.4, clear to land as we can. Ready to give the call? Charlie, I'll call, thank you. What's that? Republic Tower? Yeah, Skywagon, one Romeo Mike, 10 miles to the east with Quebec landing. Yeah, Quebec landing, Mike. 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 Republic Tower, Cessna, one Romeo Mike, 10 miles to the east with information landing. Quebec. Quebec. And that's a Cessna, one Romeo Mike calling. That's affirmative. One Romeo Mike. That's not run. One Romeo Mike. Uh, Roger. Continue on the uh, right base runway 32. Right base 32. One Romeo Mike. Okay, right base 32. What you can do is load up an approach. You go flight plan. Select the approach. And go to select 32. On Number 12, clear to land, uh, Bravo, run up, remain south and west. And then three, activate the approach and activate vectors to final. Now, you have an extended center line. So what you can do is continue straight. When you hit Babylon, you can turn left towards the base. And it's a right base for 3-2. Right you can just play with a heading button. Oh, when you're on auto mode. Yeah, you can just play with a heading button. When you want to turn the base, you just turn here. Cessna 1 Romeo Mike, what type Cessna are you? Uh, Cessna Skywagon, 1 Romeo Mike. Cessna Skywagon, 1 Romeo Mike. Thank you. I thought I was flying it, that's why it asked you. Yeah. Okay, now I know the autopilot's on, this is good. I know it was on, but I thought you did something. You reached in, I thought you shot it off. Nope, she's on. You see it says heading select altitude. It's going to hold your altitude and it's going to hold your heading. heading. Yeah, I know that. But I was actually trying to, and I didn't do it strong because, yep, okay, good thing I did. That's right. It was actually point four coming down. And 22 minutes. Cessna 605, follow the uh, Falcon inbound, yeah. number two. Clear touch and go. I'll follow the Falcon number two, and uh, I'd like to make this a full stop. Yeah, this is the only way to fly. You've got to have the autopilot. Ah, 
Um, I recommend if you want to do some long cross country flying. Cessna 1 Romeo Mike, plane number 3, if I want to assess, they'll be turning about a 2 mile left base. Number 3, looking for traffic. Number 3, looking for traffic, 1 Romeo Mike. Cherokee 2, I'll take the ground, point 6. Ground point 6, uh, two, zero, I'll take the What I recommend if you buy a Mooney, make sure you buy one with an autopilot. Oh yeah. Because uh, it's I'm not buying any plane without an autopilot. Because it's more expensive to put to it in. put it in after than buy one that's already installed. One of the requirements when I purchased this was to make sure it has a working autopilot and good avionics. Yeah, you got it. And you dual ILS, it. because I know I'm gonna fly this in the weather. I want to have. Dual Wind glide slope. Nine zero nine estimated. Dual glide slope and autopilot. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna look for the traffic. Yeah, it's really and with the sun, I would actually say we're sky at wagon. Yeah, you know, stay two okay. and start coming down. You can say sky wagon one, one of me and Mike negative, negative contact traffic. on that traffic, and we can start coming down. Autopilot's off. I tell them Republic Tower, right? Yeah, Republic Tower, sky wagon one, one of me and Mike negative contact on that traffic. Republic Tower. One Romeo Mike negative on the traffic. That's the one Romeo Mike, your traffic's a mile final, not a factor. Uh, you can start your descent, runway 32, clear the wind. Wind uh, estimated 2909. One Romeo Mike, clear the land, 32. Alright, clear the land. Control your code destination. What I would do right now is actually start coming down, push the nose down, a little bit of trim. You don't want to shuckle. Yeah, you don't want to shuckle the engine. Okay, I keep, keep it happy. The green is where you want to be on the descent. This way, a little bit of. If you want a little bit of RPM increase, put you right in there. Perfect. You want flaps? Uh, not at this speed. So if you yeah. want to put the flaps, when I make the time. No, you can actually level off. Okay, slow it down. Slow down to the white arc. Hold on. And you can go ahead and put 20. Go ahead and put 20. Two clicks. Beautiful. And yeah. now you can get the power back up. Now that's amazing how strong you gotta be to yeah, do that. It's, it's, it's like airflow. lifting the gear up. It's airflow and it's actually yeah, yeah. spring-loaded flaps. Now check your trim now. How's your trim? Trim is pretty... Uh, I think I'll go here more. A little bit nose down. You see the runway? Yeah, I got it. Right. There's runway and we are number two traffic one mile final. You're good. Yeah. What I like to do now is a stabilized approach. I want to see two reds and two whites right. yep. and keep that center line, extended center line. You'll be good. You want 80, right? 80 miles an hour is perfect. Oh, we did down. Just like I got that. 90, so I got to pull back or what are you doing? Uh, maybe, Bring it up. Maybe uh, RPM forward, it'll slow down a little bit. This is 6 8 Bravo, runway 32. Hold 80, you good for the wind. The is a uh, Cessna on a 3 mile final. Yeah, a little a bit. Of way to go, uh, back just a little bit. She don't want to go down, man. Yeah, she's good. She'll be good. Hold on, maybe a little bit of power back. Cessna 605 destination. How's that down? Better? Okay, yeah. 605, left down for 5, ground point 6. Yeah, she's yep. coming down, down, she's coming down. Well, we came at a 2,000 feet, so... Yeah, now you're right on it. Beautiful. Two reds. I'll get the power back up for you. And we'll do a before landing checklist. Now you can slow down to 80. You're good. No problem. Pitch up, nose up, turn. 6 8 problem. Runway 32, clear for takeoff. No problem. At 2 9 or 0 9. Pull any check, landing lights on, autopilot's off, seatbelt Sean and Harris on to the right, watch your speed, right there, you're good, and tailwheels unlocked, mixture is best power, fuel's on both, and flaps are 20, your before landing checklist is complete, so based on the previous one, you can actually adjust, I want to get that rudder trim in there, for you, based on that landing we did before, you can adjust and kind of Glue it into the runway. I'm you know? Actually, I can see better, too. See better, because you can put the pillows in there, right? But I am concerned with what's going on. You hear that, right? With the, uh, what? With the engine before it got Before it was a little bit yeah, of a quick... Yeah. Maybe an ice chunk. But it happened twice, you know that. Like, twice I heard the one. Oh, no, that's why I was looking at you. I'm like, hey. <laughs> She's running smooth now. Okay. I'm probably sick of a problem. make right chunk? Ice chunk right, right in there. there. Understand, just pitch up just a little bit. 